what is up guys how is everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit your situation if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box below let's get right into this spirit ancestors and guides i want to know what's going on with the collective's person at this time spirit ancestors and guides what is going on with the collective's person at this time spirit ancestors and guides what is going on with the collective's person at this time they're all up in their head Okay, there's a heavy energy of anxiety of overthinking here. Got the crown chakra coming up. Okay, so this is somebody who is who is definitely all up in their head. With there being a five on this card, I feel like there's a lot of con like they're very conflicted within themselves. This person could be looking for a job or recently lost a job. Okay. Or maybe looking for better opportunities. Uh, but there's definitely an energy of whoever this person doing a lot of overthinking, a lot of stressing, a lot of worrying, a lot of anxiety. Okay. Yeah, see, look, it's about it's about that man's coin, whoever this person is, man or woman, right? Because gender doesn't matter. It's just energy. This is a masculine energy, but it says man holding a coin. You know, somebody who's very, very worried about their money at this point. Okay. And I feel like this is causing somebody a lot of stress, a lot of worry, a lot of, you know, overthinking, wondering what's going to happen. This person is almost too embarrassed to say, though, with the throat chakra being at the bottom. This person is almost too embarrassed to let you know what they're going through. Okay? It's like this person might hint at what they're going through. This might person might... You know, though, I feel like I feel like, you know, you know, this person is going through some shit. Right. Uh, but it's almost like there's something about karma here where it's like they did you dirty and lost it all. And then they know it's their karma from the way they treated you. So that's why there's this embarrassment of not wanting to let you know, like, shit, I'm broke, I lost my job. Somebody might not be letting you know, like, that they have actually been fired or, you know, lost their job or um, are broke as shit. You know, this person is very, very stressed out about their money, okay? This person, there's an energy, and this isn't for everybody out there, but there's a very um, abundant energy surrounding somebody that I'm reading for out there. It's like when anything starts to fall apart or you start to stress about something financially, it's like spirit comes through and makes it very stable in that way. Like you might have, I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. No, I'm just playing. Okay, you could have 99 problems, but you know, paying them bills ain't one being stable ain't one you might stress from time to time about money but it ain't like you know spirit's gonna give you maybe not everything you want but everything that you are needing at that time and so it's a very blessed energy surrounding somebody even if y'all don't feel it there's a very blessed energy surrounding you uh And they know this. It's like whoever this person is knows this. And so they don't want to come to you as brokey, as little brokey bummy, you know, old, old jobless, unemployed, you know, like they don't want to come across like that. And then on top of that, this person has hurt you in the past. They might have done you wrong recently. And they know it's their karma from that. And it's not like you wished bad on nobody or you wanted something bad to happen but it's their karma to pay and something financially has fallen apart for this person they're too embarrassed to let you know this why because you have this blessed stable energy around you you don't want them being like hey you know you reap what you sow you know <laughs> you know what i'm saying they don't want i told you so you know like the way they're gonna come to you shit it's like kind of like that energy like hmm yeah hmm yeah, I, like you've seen it coming. Like, I don't know how else to explain it. 
let's see spirit ancestors and guides what else is surrounding this person's energy the collective person spirit what else is surrounding contracts storm warning like i said okay in a love reading contract is somebody that wants stability somebody that wants commitment or somebody that is already committed elsewhere you know regardless of how this pertains to you this is somebody that's committed or wants to be committed this is a serious connection okay um maybe this person will lose is gonna lose a lot of money if they leave somebody behind i don't know if that's you know for everybody uh <clears throat> but in this per in this situation like the way this is coming up with money contract in not in a love just like a regular reading right a general reading this would be like somebody might have went into contract with somebody or are trying to get a big contract because whoever this person is they are coming up as the man holding the coin but what surrounds it changes the card so eventually this man holding the coin will be doing way better financially be in a way better spot than they are now okay i'm sorry to tell y'all if they hurt you or not this person is about to come up they are about to get like some kind of opportunity some kind of contract some kind of promotion job offer that's way better than whatever they left behind or whatever they lost but it's not before spirit is going to make them suffer okay because with the bottom of the deck we have this storm warning right so it's not like they're just going to do you wrong and then lose out and then motherfucking um, amazingly blossom hell no spirit is finna put this person through it right look at this tornado storm warning they are about to go through it and it was like there was a there was a warning before destruction if that makes sense you know it's like spirit warned them they warned them of the actions they were taking they warned them of the decisions that they were making and it was like the warning before destruction and spirit was like okay you know with this storm warning sitting there it's like they were letting them know like hey if you get to bullshitting things are about to fall apart for you and this person didn't take heed right and so like i said they are almost like their own worst enemy very destructive to their own life and what it did is it ruined everything here it, whatever they did whatever decision they made it, it caused this there was a completion that happened in their life there's a lot of completions happening in their life some endings 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 with that 10 being up there i'm telling you like things are crumbling in this person's life um and at this time it's like spirits like this ain't your karma to deal with this isn't your you ain't got to feel bad about shit it's not your time to play captain save a dude captain save a bitch like no it's not that time you know it, it's time for you to focus on yourself right look the thinking man whoever this person is they're so motherfucking stressed and they're thinking about all the other doors that might open for them okay so I'm going to be honest, this person is trying to be positive, even though they're going through a really bad time. And I feel like you are the positivity in their life. Because whoever this is, I feel like you guys are in contact. You see this person regularly. I feel like this person, you know, that's not for everybody, but, you know, take it how it resonates. This is, this is somebody that's in contact and they're embarrassed to let you know that they're going through some shit. And when they come around you, it gives them that sense of peace and that sense of stability. So it makes everything quite better. So they're still trying to look at the positive side of this. You are the positivity in this person's life. That's, you know, beautiful to me. You, you are the sun in this person's life when everything is falling apart. When this storm is blowing through, you still show them like there's so many more possibilities. I think when they do finally come and talk to you, like if they have talked to you about this or you guys will end up talking about this, I feel like you're going to really uplift this person. This person might have thought that you were going to be like, hey, I told you so, you know, that's what you get, you know, karma's a month, you know, but I feel like that's not the energy that that's you're going to be given. It's like you're going to uplift this person like 
You, why wouldn't you tell me that you were doing bad? Why wouldn't you tell me you lost your job? Why wouldn't you tell me this and that was going on? Like, look, there's so like, fuck that job. Fuck that. There's so many more possibilities. There's so many more doors that can open for you. You deserve better. You really uplift this person. And it's going to help them stay positive. Like, you're such a good person through every motherfucking thing. Look, he in in that yang. Through everything that they done put you through you still are like there for them right you might even have some resources because with that community card being under that yin and yang you might even have some resources in the community that helps them open some doors and this person sitting back like why would you even be there for me or help me after what i have done but you know that's all still a part of their karma of realizing like what a genuine true person you are and how you truly have their back through thick and thin, like no judgment, no belittling, no making them feel bad. Let us see though. Let's see what else is going on with this person's spirit. What else is going on with the collective's person at this time, spirit? Look, love call. Okay, there you're gonna be hearing from them and they're gonna be expressing their love for you. This is gonna them saying that they're thinking about you. And this is I'm telling you, when they talk to you, it gives them a sense of peace. Even if they can't see you every day or y'all don't see each other, it's like just communication between the two of you guys makes them feel at peace. Okay. This person might literally text every morning or every night. If they're going to text at least one time a day and let you know that they're thinking about you. Even if they don't say, hey, I'm thinking about you, right? It's just, it just could be some random shit. Um, with healthy choices, bottom of the deck, you know, this person is wanting to make healthier choices, better choices for them. It says in love and in life. You know, they know that they have fucked up. They know that they haven't made the best decisions and basically they thought they were good until everything fell apart because this person never received karma so quickly as they did when they hurt you when they made these bad decisions and so now you know this person is trying to do have some self-love some self-care within themselves which i think is quite beautiful um, this is something that they use, they haven't done in a long time. This person like focuses on other energies, focuses on shit around them, the unimportant shit. There's something very beautiful in this person's energy where it's like they're starting to love themselves more, even through this very hard time that they're going to go through. It's going to teach them self-care, self-love to make better choices that they can be happier if they were to change and make better choices in love and in life. And then look at that uh, under that. That's when this healing heart comes to play. Bottom of the deck, what you don't see. Healing from heartbreak. Um, you know, freedom from toxic behaviors. It's like they are going to release these toxic behaviors these toxic choices they're going to try to heal look at her sewing this heart back up whoever this person is they're going to try to to fix this right but somebody it, they were stuck in an energy for so long of feeling like they weren't enough frustrated in the relationship lack of confidence literally just said their own worst enemy self-sabotage Fear and ego issues, jealousy. This person is very insecure. They could have been very jealous. They could have been accusing you of things, right? Um, it's because they lack confidence in themselves. Even if they're boisterous, even if they're loud, even if they act like they're the shit, they're very small on the inside and that's the only way I can explain it and that's why this card comes out with this self-love and self-care it's very rare we hear that the counterpart is supposed to be focusing on self-love self-care we're always saying that it's supposed to be to the to who I'm reading for right but no in this situation what I'm seeing here is this person who is finally focusing on that self-love on that self-care and it's going to make them feel like they're enough. It's going to cause that insecurity, that jealousy, those pre-assumptions to fall away. Okay. And once again, that's where this healing heart, this beautiful connection comes from. Spirit. 
spirit ancestors and guides can i get a message for the collective on this situation any message that you would like the collective to know about this situation spirit Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only being true to yourself that you can be true to others. And this is what they're seeing. See, this person is seeing that it's time for them to stop making decisions based on guilt. They need to stop going with just whatever they think they should do. And they are realizing it's time for them to start, to, to start being true to themselves. So that they can start being true to you. That's beautiful. And here's a message for you. You know, literally I was just saying this person will randomly text. I mean, they want you to know every day that you are on their mind in some way. And it says a message for you. I'm thinking of you at this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. I'm telling you, you're this person's happy place when everything is dark, when they're going through that storm. This person just wants you to know that they love you. All right? All right. That's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.